want to record 1600 G from Carl Zeiss. Want to testing machine having an x axis of 100 mm and z axis column of 250 mm. We have an option for 450 and 650 mm as well. It uses an elevating mechanism for the pickup and has an accuracy of around 4.5 microns over a full range of 50 mm. <coughs> so uh, here we'll see how uh, this machine can be used in a CNC mode. So where you can just make a CNC program and uh, you can run the program and every time for each of the components you can use the same program for the measurement. So it saves your time and uh, the, the accuracy of the machine also you can uh, check it out from there. So here you can see this is the software what we are using. We have loaded the component on the machine. Just we call for the part program and once we start the program the machine starts tracing the data. CNC program helps to get you a better results in uh, in terms of uh, a better uh, repeatability in the results and also saves your time as you have programmed the same. So right now it is tracing this component and uh, in the back end the one after the tracing is over the program will do all the calculation of the angle, radius and alignment. Then again we'll see, we'll interchange the part and again we'll uh, run the same uh, component. measurement is over once the measurement is over the arm lifts up enable you to change the component get a command of playback and death just click ok and you can see all the calculation like the angles coordinate differences step radius has been calculated automatically Now we have interchanged the component with a new component and we just place the stylus from where I need to start the measurement. near my lump from to the place from where we have started the earlier measurement. So an error of error band of say 0.5 mm to 1 mm is acceptable for that. Now I'll just call the program and say consecute. So now again it has started the measurement and here you can see here you can see that the measurement pitch that is the point it is picking up after is 1 micron with a speed of 0.3 mm per second you can have a real time display how the probe is moving on the contour
here the program is ended the arm is lifted up to arm is lifted up automatically now you can place the other component and uh, here you can see the differences between the two components what we have measured for example the angle of 53 degree 24 minutes 20 seconds when measured earlier was 53 24 degree 20 seconds before that was 53 24 degree 38 seconds for other components so you get a good repeatability in terms of angles like suppose radius of 690774 6 8 9 7 7 6 6 8 8 7 7 4 so the differences in radius and angles are less than uh, 4 microns and say 20 seconds it's a very high accurate uh, contour record uh, 1600 g from Carl Zeiss fully CNC version and also can be upgraded with CNC tables to enable the y-axis movement and others thank you that was a bit from Carl Zeiss